Okay, as promised, we are back uh, with my brother-in-law's Achilles, and good news was that when we assessed it six weeks ago, um, we didn't know whether he was going for surgery, we knew it was fully ruptured. Um, he went for an MRI, and yes, it was ruptured in half at the Achilles tendon. Now, the diagnosis was, and I'll put this up on the screen, 10 centimeters above the insertion point of the Achilles down the heel, he had rupture, and the rupture mark here was a 1.8 centimeter gap, and you'll see that on the scan. So this tendon was completely torn in half, and there's a gap by 1.8 centimeters. Now, the good thing is, is what we did is put him in a boot, and we got him to see one of our um, ankle surgeons, and that was for a bit of a roadmap, an assessment, a path of where does this person, what, what do we need to do? Does he need to go for surgery, does he not? Because it was less than two centimeters and the way it was ruptured, where it was ruptured, he was a good candidate for no surgery. So the rule of that one is he had to spend nine weeks in a boot. He has done six, so nine full weeks. He's got three to go. That's tough stuff being in a boot, but within the boot has been wedges. So if you'd see inside here, there's wedges inside that. Now he's actually taken one out because he's allowed to take one out, but there's three wedges, but keeps him elevated in plantar flexion. If you look at, if you think of this, if this was the gap, when he's in the boot, the gap's gonna be closer, okay? So when he's in a plantar flexed wedge sort of position, there's a better chance of healing because you're basically pushing the two ends closer together and he needs to be staying in that for six weeks. Now that he's at six weeks, he is taking one wedge out. So it's actually, instead of being here, it's gonna be a little bit lower and every week that's gonna get lower and lower because every week one wedge comes out. And in three weeks time, he's gonna be in a pair of sneakers. Um, so that's his surgery, is no surgery, just staying stationary boot. And the great news is we can feel his tendon. There is a connection all the way through now. Yes, it's thickened because of course it's, you know, it's been ruptured and it's healing. But if you look at this, it is smooth all the way through. There is no gap in this tendon at all, which is fantastic. What he's got, and what I'm working on at the moment is a lot of fluid. Now that's not, yes, there's inflammation here as far as thick and tendon, but all this fluid here is not from injury. It's because he's been in a boot and he hasn't had his calf working like a normal pump like they normally do. So you and me, you know, our calves, when we plantar flexion, dorsal flexion work, pump fluid out of our leg back to the heart. That hasn't been happening. Now I've just pushed quite a lot out already but if you can see in here, if you have a look down here, there's still a little bit left in here where I can push that fluid there. You see that fluid there? And if I take my finger away, there it is there. You can see that pitting edema. So this is where it's sort of stuck there. It's a very gungy sort of fluid that's sticking around here. So my job is to try and get that mobilized and moving out of his calf, out of his ankle, so this whole thing recovers a little bit faster. Um, because it's important that we mobilize that because now, I have to do that because his calf is not doing it. However, he now has some exercises to do, but they're pretty basic at this stage. It's still, remember, he is six weeks. He's got to not load this tendon with resistance until about the 10 to 12 week marks, which is very similar to if you had shoulder surgery or kidney surgery, the same deal. You wouldn't be loading a tendon that has been operated on or repaired back together until you've had that 10 to 12 week time frame of those tendon fibers hooking together and permanently staying that way. If you put load on it, you're more likely to re-rupture that. So very important that for him, he stays in the boot for the next three weeks and doesn't do anything crazy. He is allowed to take it off at night, but we're probably, he's pretty keen to keep it on in case you wake up in the middle of the night and go to the toilet, that sort of thing. You haven't got your boot on, what are you gonna do? So we might just keep him on that boot, um, but he's got exercises involving plantar flexion, dorsiflexion, so just by himself, just going through plantar flexion, dorsiflexion, like trying to get this whole thing moving, so trying to get his ankle moving, trying to get his calf pumping, trying to get the tendon lengthening and contracting, but very carefully under no load, so it's just basically, if you look at my foot, doing like almost pushing on the accelerator type movement, so lots of this, but very carefully, slowly, and he's gonna build that up over the next few weeks, and every week we're probably gonna give him a few more little exercises to do. He'll also be doing inversion, eversion, so he's gotta get working on this sort of movement, okay, getting that ankle moving, get all the muscles like your perineals and your tibialis, 
all back functioning because they've just been doing nothing for six weeks. And then the last thing you'll also be doing is sort of seated calf raises. So doing this at his chair at work, just getting up and actually making the soleus part of his calf that's connected to that Achilles, pull on the Achilles a little bit. So when he does that, there'll be a pulling, there'll be an active work, which generates some strengthening, some fiber sort of channeling through here, which helps the whole process and sort of builds him up ready to be able to do some loading work when he's ready. So good news for him. I know it's been a long road and um, However, it is a much better road than surgery, so much better outcome if you can do this non-surgically, great. If you can't, well, that's unfortunate, but still, it gets repaired. Either way, he's going to be a lot better in another six weeks' time when we can do some strengthening and we'll send you an update then. So, see you in six weeks.